Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch, joins me now. And, sir, it's good to have you back on the show. Uh, I read that today, th thought it was interesting, wanted to get your response to that claim from The Washington Post. Well, I mean, what, what these so-called Trump advisors, what are they saying, that Trump obstructed justice? And it's absurd. Obviously, that isn't the case. I don't know who's telling The Washington Post that. Hmm. Uh, the fact is Trump cooperated, right? He turned those documents over in the beginning of the year, those 15 boxes, and then they harassed him further. They issued a subpoena, and he responded to the subpoena. They gave him more documents. Now, the objection is that, well, he didn't search properly or hid documents from his own lawyers. You know, I didn't think there was any persuasive evidence of that. So Trump fully cooperated. So the whole thesis of the story that somehow he didn't turn documents over and was indicted is false, which makes me think what they're trying to do uh, and what I think this whole issue is about is they're trying to undermine the issue that we have been raising publicly, which is the Clinton side for our case yeah. uh, was a persuasive court case that was uh, pursued by the Justice Department and the archives that led to the conclusion that uh, there was uh, no nothing anyone could do about a president who took records with them and designated them as personal, uh, which Bill Clinton did, um, according to the Justice Department and archives and a federal court judge. And it was a similar situation with Trump. So are you, you, so they you, you didn't want to be called that. out on that disparate treatment between Clinton and Trump. Yeah. So, you know, let's start yelling about uh, uh, Tom Fitton as opposed to uh, the Justice Department, who was going to indict Trump and entrap him in a wildly abusive way. It's just, um, you know, if these are Trump advisors, he needs new advisors. You, you, would, you would argue that, I mean, because obviously with the Clinton case, it was tapes of, of recordings. It was things that were in his mind versus actual documents is what's alleged in the Trump case. There's oh, no, 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 no. They were recordings of him making phone calls to foreign leaders and senators and, okay. and cabinet officials. So these were recordings and part of him being president. Right. So what essential presidential records under the Justice Department interpretation of currently, but of course they didn't want to apply that to, to Clinton. So the whole point of this is that, you know, President Trump is being afforded none of the prerogatives prior presidents were by the Justice Department or the archives, and, and it highlights that it's a political hit job. Do you think this gets thrown out on appeal? I mean, how does, how does this happen? Oh, I don't know. You know, the judicial system is politicized as well, unfortunately. But I think there's a strong argument, and this is the best defense I think the president may have, uh, President Trump has, uh, against this unprecedented twisting of the law uh, to uh, try to jail him for the rest of his life. Well, that's obvious. I, I, I think we can all see what, what the obvious motive is here. We can all see that it's, you know, it's, it's selective justice, it's selective prosecution. That, that's very clear. Uh, I guess the question is, our justice system is scary these days because, I, you know, I don't think a lot of people think that it's honest. And, and, and that's what makes, I think, everybody nervous when you see you know, the charges come for some and not well, for all. But that doesn't... You know, I, I testified to the grand jury on this issue. I, I told them what I thought yeah. of uh, their abuse of Trump. Uh, and I saw... Uh, Three prosecutors and on right. a process that was obviously designed to retaliate against me and Judicial Watch for yeah. telling the truth and engage in a political fishing expedition. Highly partisan. Uh, so it's, a, it's been abuse of power from yeah. day one targeting yeah. Trump. And of course, this is part of a long tradition in this awful Justice Department that goes back Understood. half a dozen years. Tom, I got, I got to cut it there because I got a really heavy show tonight, but I do appreciate you coming on. Uh, it's always good to see you, sir. Thank you.